Uh, of course, they're just trying to lie as well. So it's a it's a mixture of stupidity uh, and mendacity. So um, I'm not sure which is greater. Speaking of stupi- stupidity and mendacity, uh, Andy Worski, who is the perfect combination of both, the other day, uh, and I'll, I want to make sure I get this in on the show tonight. If you'll recall, Pat, I don't know if he's been briefed on all this, but just to act like you have. Um, yeah. If you'll... <laughs> If you'll recall, we've been uh, following these Keno Casino faggots, and uh, Andy Worski got into it with Perspicacity, who's a PPP's uh, guru, former guru, basically wrote all his scripts, created all the stuff about anything about him people liked, um, was the guy who always defended him, was kind of his manager-type character. And he was the guy behind the scenes, mainly helping put together these shows along with a couple others. Worski got into a fight with him on Twitter earlier that day, was calling him garbage, said, oh, you don't want to know what people, you know, if I find out about you, you know, if people find out what I know, they'll be sick. And they already hate us and want to reduce out carbon, send three dollars, just be you. The God already has a plan for you, but be smart. Just live your best life. That's pretty good advice. Um, but he's like, oh, if people find out, if they knew what I knew, they'd be disgusted, this and that. Well, that evening, they went on the air. And we watched that show. Their number one story was me looking blankly at my computer screen because I accidentally left the stream going after. And I didn't do anything. I was literally just, like, turning my head here. I yelled into the mic once. I was kind of <laughs> winding down. The show was over. Camera was supposedly off, whatever. But nothing happened. I don't pick my nose or my ass or anything like that. And... This was their top story of the evening, though. During that story, Worski pulls up Google Drive. And I thought it was weird during the show, but I wasn't really, like, paying attention fully. I don't know if I can pull up the image, by the way. I think this is probably fine. Um, On the image, I noticed he kept going back to the Google Drive. And it was kind of weird, and they kept showing it on the screen. And I don't usually watch their stuff except for the past few weeks when we've been sniping them. And, but I did, and I hadn't noticed him doing that before, though, even during the times I'd seen. I was like, this is kind of weird. I don't really notice him pulling up the Google Drive. Well, some people did notice. Some people did notice. And he kept going back to it, kept pulling it up. You can't see it right here, but uh, if you look on the right side of the, the screen there, it'll show who submitted clips. It'll have their name out to the right. Well, some of them say me which is either Worski or PPP, not Worski, so probably PPP. And then several of the cl- clips say Baron Miller. A doll wolf sent $3 I used to work for one of the largest cell providers in the U.S. They have literal bots and backdoors for feds because they literally receive so many record requests it would be impossible to handle. Now, the, by the same with banks since they are liable. G&S. By the way, <laughs> originally I thought... Because Trump had Trump used names like John Miller, John Barron. Originally, I thought when I first heard that, I was like, "Is that like a takeoff of what Trump does?" You know what I mean? Like maybe he's just using a Trump name. Well, he deleted fucking everything yesterday, uh, late last night, and so I guess not. I guess that is actually his name. I, of course, I have no qualms about sharing it because he's a faggot who lied about my family and uh, worked with PPP to try to ruin my life and all that so uh, like I said you don't deserve anonymity if you can't keep it Uh, and if you're coming at me you better be damn sure you can keep it Uh, that's just my advice to you Uh, and so he deleted everything the point is Worski doxed this guy on purpose 100% and kept pulling up the file over and over again this is why the Keno Casino staff quit because they're like, why did you give Worski our docs, et cetera, et cetera? This is what they meant. That was alluded to by King of Pole the other day, and they kept saying Worski gave PPP docs or gave him some information about them. That's what they're talking about. He gave Worski this guy's docs. The dude who Worski hate. I mean, I don't like the guy either, but he wasn't on my staff, right? Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, this is Worski, and it's worse for them because – they claim to be holier than thou. They claim to not do things. Doxing's bad, this and that. This is the second person they've doxed in the last week publicly on purpose. So just add another match to the fire there, I guess. Some more wood to the fire. Some more gasoline to the fire. 
I just wanted to make sure I got this part in the show here. Um, and Worski, if you go back and watch that episode, he pulls that Google Drive up time and time again. And he's never done that before or since. And I thought it was weird then. And now I don't think so because I see why. He was doxing that guy for having the temerity to talk shit to him. For having the temerity to call him a retard, to say he's a faggot. All those things are true. So Worski decided to dox his own staffer because he was because he was upset. So that's another uh, another little uh, tidbit. Also, I have something. I have first off a couple things. Do you guys remember Jory from the uh, from the snipe? Uh, it wasn't Tuesday. It was Friday. Well, I have Jory's phone number and his information, uh, and this is the guy who. Um, I guess, allied with PPP's rape accuser and uh, testified against him, got him kicked out of college. PPP slimeballed him with Medicare the other night live on the air, called out his name, called out enough identifying information that I now have that information. And uh, I will be contacting Jory soon. I can't say that I have the interview secured just yet. Um, but I will say stay tuned. I will say stay tuned. Speaking of staying tuned, I have even one more. One more big bomb. And it's not for these two gentlemen. It's from another member of the Ralph World Rogues Gallery. A long lost relative, I'll say. And I'll just leave it there and let the speculation begin. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC Adolfo. Remember to like and subscribe.